Well, hi there. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. I'm Sharon Taylor. I serve as pastor at St. Peter Lutheran Church, and that is located on Fort Myers Beach in Florida. And glad that you're with me today for Blessings on the Beach. We try to take Tuesdays and Thursday mornings to center ourselves in God, to take a deep breath and begin our day just grounded in the presence of goodness and the presence of our source of life. And so today I'm going to be reading from Joan Chittister, Sister Joan Chittister, The Breath of the Soul, Reflections on Prayer. And we've been doing a word a day, and our word for the day is enlightenment. enlightenment. And she writes, Always remember, dear sisters, the novice mistress repeated over and over to the young seekers she trained. The empty vessel must be filled, otherwise you have nothing to give anyone else. The question is, with what are we to be filled if our prayer life is to be rich and real, deep and developmental? There comes a time in every relationship, including our relationship with God, when chatter is not enough. To sustain the power of an acquaintanceship, it becomes important to come to know the other person, every part of them, every thought they've ever had, everything they've ever done, every ideal they hold, every hope they nourish. A real relationship deepens with time until words are not necessary and silence is no burden. Meditation is the stage between words and silence in the spiritual life. The prayer of words instructs us instructs us in the tradition of belief we hold. It teaches us the ideas of the ancients and the prayer forms of the community. Silence takes us beyond words to total consciousness of the presence that is more than time and greater than life. Meditation fills us with the details of the search. Meditation milks the sacred scriptures of every ounce of meaning and history the tradition enshrines for us. It fills us with the great moments of the faith and the great mysteries of the faith as well. It gives us the framework it takes to meld my life with the life of the one I follow. Then, the seeking of God, the growth to wholeness, is not a product of folly or fantasy. It is a history of what it means to take this path. It is the definition of what we seek. It is a call to choose between empty, self-emptying. I'm sorry. It is a call to choose between the empty self and the emptying of self into a spiritual life that makes life meaningful and makes us whole. And her mantra for today is, Great God, come to me in silence turn to miss the words that separate me from you and me from myself. And the text, the verse from scripture, Gospel of Mark 135. Rising early the next morning, Jesus went off to a lonely place in the desert and prayed there. Jesus really is our model for prayer. We see that Jesus, even though he's completely connected to the Godhead, he's part of the Godhead, takes time in prayer, takes time alone in prayer, and also takes time in community in prayer. And um, just this understanding that prayer doesn't have to be words, that prayer is deeper than even words, and that silence can serve a purpose and silence can bring about meaning and open up the opportunity for us to kind of get rid of the static that's around us and just be in the presence of God, which I know for many of us is difficult to do. So I'm gonna encourage you after we're finished to just set a timer and to take three minutes and just be in silence. It's a, it's a way to start. I started with three minutes and I could barely get through it in the beginning, but um, it's a good thing to start the practice of sitting in silence. And it's okay if your mind wanders, just Tell yourself, thinking, thinking, remind yourself that your mind is still working. Bring it back to sitting in silence and ask your mind to be quiet for a few minutes and see how that connection feels to God, um, what it is that God may be speaking to you or has been trying to speak to you 
that you have been um, too active or too chattery to be able to hear. So I hope that you'll try that and um, hope you'll join us Saturday for worship. We live stream on our YouTube channel. You can go to stpeterfmb.com and connect there to our worship service at 10 a.m. or anytime after. And then I hope you'll join me again for Blessings on the Beach on Tuesday. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for joining me. Take care.